What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. All right, so I need y'all to put on your imagination cap right now and just think of a space or a place that you would go to if you needed somewhere to feel safe, if you needed somewhere to feel protected, if you felt like everything was against you, you just needed a place that maybe you call home, but in other words, it's a place where you feel safe. You feel like, okay, if I just get there, all will be well. Do you have that space? Do you have that place? Do you know where you would go? Well, here's a quick story. Uh, I had the ability of being raised in a home with my mother and my father, right? And we grew up while I was raised in this home for probably about 10 years or so. And I went out to college. And then going out to college, I came back home because, you know, you would visit back home while you're in college for various reasons, most often to get some food, you know, so to get some money from your parents. Uh, But more than anything, you just spent holidays at home if you didn't have anywhere else to go right and there came a time where in visiting back home or the place that I call home that my room was totally changed right like my mother had taken over the road it became a tv space she painted the walls and now even when I go back to my parents home I don't even call it my home anymore but anyway when I go to my parents home like it's all changed the flooring has changed the closets has changed like all my stuff is outside in the garage or under the house or my dad sent it with me but all that to say like that was my safety place that was my place of protection that was my refuge right but then as I progressed in life I then found other places of refuge other places of shelters where I call home and I say all that to say ladies and gentlemen again as I talk about South Africa and the beauty thereof I want to appeal to my South African brothers and sisters as well as my people all around the world South Africa is a place of refuge for so many people. Now, refuge is a word that has been used over the span of time. However, I'm going to put on the screen for you the definition of refuge, which is simply put, refuge is a shelter. It's a place of protection or is a place of safety. That is what a refuge is. And South Africa happens to be a refuge for many, many people, even if they haven't even stepped foot on the continent itself or the country specifically. And I say that because with the help of YouTube, right, which you're watching this video through right now, people are able to see various components of South Africa. They're able to see what South Africa has to offer from uh, the landscape to the natural resources to (laughs) so many things. It's crazy, right, when I just think about it. And I say it that way because Chris and I have had the ability to travel around the world see different places, different countries, and specifically coming from the U.S. And I say all that to say South Africa is specific and unique in a special way, largely because within this country, right, it has so many different terrains and things in which you can explore and do, such as the beaches on the coast, right? You have various coastlines. You can get the Cape Town vibes beach there. You can go to Port Elizabeth down in the south, or you can go over to the east east and get that Durban uh, beach type vibe and it's all specifically different and unique for its own special ways for the people to the uh, water temperature uh, to the surrounding areas around the beach itself but then they also have waterfalls right like numerous waterfalls all within the country but then you also have mountain terrains that you can explore and hike up on is that if that's your thing right for the people that like to be outside that's their thing and for some people being outside is their safety place, is their place of protection, is the place where they go to to feel connected, whether it's connected to God, whether it's connected to self, whether it's to reset, right? Some people need nature for them to reset. Some people need outside, outdoors, the elements, right? The water, the wind, the earth, the sun. They need the elements to be able to recharge, to refocus, and to fine tune who they are. And again, have that place of refuge. But South Africa has those things. 
I'm amazed, right? As I talk to people, as I explore, as I do my research on Google, because I'm not out there in all those streets just now. I haven't explored the Durbans just now. I haven't gone up mountain uh, climbs or you know hiking or anything just now. But those days will come, and those vlogs will proceed. But I say all that to say, South Africa is a refuge for so many people. And truth be told. South Africa is actually a refuge for people on the continent itself. Like, I was amazed as I interacted with various people and, you know, every person or people that I interact with, I don't do videos with everybody, right? There are some people that I talk to, converse with throughout the weeks, throughout the days that don't make it on various videos for specific reasons, right? But all that to say, I've met people from around the continent and they have said that they have found their place called home. They have found their refuge here in South Africa as opposed to the country that they were born in, the country that they were raised in, the country that they received their education, the country that their parents are still in. They found that South Africa happens to be a refuge for them and a refuge that they're able to grow and raise their children in, which I found to be a beautiful, beautiful thing. People from other countries. I'm not going to get specific to the countries, right? Because I don't believe that's necessary, relevant for this particular video. However, it's an attestment. It's a reminder of just how beautiful, how grand, how great this here particular country is. And I'm excited, right? To be able to call this place my refuge. Truth be told, like I look back at some journal entries that I had written in my journal when we first visited this here particular country. And that was one of the things that I read about the feeling that I had here. Yes, I said it felt like home when I stepped foot on this here soil itself. But then as well, I wrote down, it felt like a refuge. And I, during uh, the holiday, I looked over the journal and I started to like meditate on what I meant by that, what I felt about that, what words came to mind, what thoughts came to mind. And I just felt like I belonged. Right. Yes. Growing up in the United States, I had friends. I had people that I associated with it. I had groups and teams that I were a part of that made me feel like, you know, I was a part of something great. I was a part of something grand. However, when I was on and stepped foot in this country, I felt like, man. I'm amongst my people, right? I'm amongst people that call me brothers and sisters, not because what I could give to them or what I have for them, but because I am, right? And I was able to associate with others and connect with others. And they pointed me this way. They pointed me that way. They showed me help. They told me where to go to find this, or they pointed me in direction to find that. And it was great. I felt protected. I felt safe. Now, I have read in the comments people saying of how unsafe this country can be. And let me tell you, safety is a concern all around this world. But to feel amongst the people, to feel like a person, to feel uh, uniquely specific, but yet a part of a grand scheme is a beautiful thing, right? And I use the word scheme, but not in a negative connotation, but in a way to say that it's that spirit of Ubuntu. I am because you are. And it's a thread line that just pours into all interactions with various people that I come in contact with. And again, it's that feeling of a refuge. And not only is it for people around the continent, but it's for people around the world. I look around, I go to the different malls. As y'all see in the vlogs, we go to a lot of malls, right? Because you can do everything in the mall. You can grocery shop, you can get your hair cut, which I need to get my hair cut, right? You can get some clothes, uh, you can get some treats, you can get a meal all at the mall, one-stop shop, right? I love the malls. However, walking through the malls, I'm able to see people from all different cultures, all different nationalities, all different colors, yet assemble all in one space and one place. And it's able to do so in a way that there's respect, right? There's an understanding, there's a courtesy. If I'm walking around with my buggy, my cart, uh, I forgot what y'all call it here. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. However, if I'm walking around with my cart, because I'm walking out of either checkers or Woolworths or whatever, whatnot, I'm then able to, you know, maneuver and go through. And sometimes some somebody may be coming through and they say, oh, excuse me, let me let you come through. Or we have our kids and they're understanding that kids going to be kids, right? Ricky may be twirling around, spinning, not focusing on where he's going, but going to some destination, right? Which I'd be telling them, Ricky, look forward. Don't look around while walking forward. Like, no, no, no. But all that to say, I digress. All that to say, 
they still even get the respect or the courtesy of letting them be kids and walking along and people pausing, letting them do whatever it is that they choose to do. And I say all that to say, not only is this country a beautiful place for people that look like myself, right? Or that may look like you that's watching on the other end of this video. However, it's a space, it's a place where people all around the world from all different colors, all uh, different cultures, all different beliefs and backgrounds can come and find peace, can come and find rest, can come and find their community group or intertwine amongst the peoples themselves, right? And still feel safe, still feel protected, still feel comforted and still feel respected. And that's a beautiful thing. Like the, the level of respect that we get here as people, I think is unmatched, right? And I say it specifically because like I said, we just came from holiday and uh, specifically I had an interaction with a lady in Italy. And it was an interesting interaction and you know it is what it is right but in that interaction i said to myself this would never happen in south africa and it was a it was a thought that never came to mind right living in the states i've had various interactions just the same as that one and i said to myself you know hey it is what it is i hate it for this individual we could have had a better interaction however i am understanding that sometimes because of my presentation the color of my skin right it, it limits people's interactions with me and has uh in times past however I said to myself, if I was in South Africa, that wouldn't have happened that way. I wouldn't have been interacted to that way. And I say all that to say, again, it was that moment where I said to myself, I can't wait to get back. I can't wait to get back to my refuge. I can't get, wait to get back to home. I can't wait to get back to South Africa. And then I had another interaction with a gentleman in Greece. We went on a cruise, right? Which videos are gonna come next week. So make sure y'all stay tuned and locked in and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, just to see how our uh, holiday went about. However, I had an interaction in Greece and I had to use the bathroom, right? It is what it is. I was walking through a city, I had to use the bathroom and I found a particular establishment and I was asking the gentleman, hey, may I use the restroom? He was like, the restroom is only for customers. I was like, okay, cool. Like, what do you sell? My man said, look around, it's a bar. What do you think we sell? I said, oh. first of all, I caught myself. You know what I'm saying? I had to catch myself because I didn't want to get out of line. I didn't want to get out of pocket. I don't want to get, you know, upset ahead of myself. One, because my kids were around, but two, uh, my mama and father taught me better than that. However, I said to myself, okay, sir, I, I apologize. I did not look around. However, I don't drink. So is there anything? Well, he, well, you can't be a customer here, so you can go ahead and get out. I looked at him. I said, I thank you, sir. I appreciate the conversation. And I walked out. And I had to take a couple breaths, you know what I'm saying? I had to take a couple breaths. Why? Because I haven't been interacted that way in a long time. It's been a long, long time, right? Uh, since I've been interacted that way or in that manner. And again, it wouldn't happen here. I wouldn't have such an interaction like that here. Like it, certain things just don't take place here in South Africa that in a short period of time, you know, we've only been here since August of last year. It hasn't even been a full year just now. But yet being here, being in a refuge, being in this place of safety, in this place of protection, in a shelter where I can call home, I've had such interactions where I've been able to relax my shoulders. I've been able to interact with people and recognize that we're all people the same. And I haven't had to defend myself. I haven't had to put on a guard or, you know, make sure I come with a certain continence or mindset to say, not today. I'm not gonna flip out today. I'm not gonna trip today. I'm gonna be the bigger person. I'm gonna take the higher road. I haven't had to say those things to myself, but I say all that to say, it's a reminder to the beauty and the joys and the peace that comes here in South Africa. So I say all that to say to my South African brothers and sisters, know that you have a space and a place where you can grow, where you can mature, where you can develop, blossom and bloom into all that you were designed and created to be without the constraints or the restrictions or the fears or the thoughts of that you're lesser than right now. Yes, I understand there has been a history of oppression in times past, but I I believe that in the period that we're in now in the space that we're in now we're able to grow from those things right and uh you know i'm still reading my book uh by nelson mandela uh, long walk to freedom and so i'm still growing in the understanding of the things that did take place and uh all those things like that right so i'm not going to speak specifically to them 
but I want to say now just traveling around experiencing various interactions with various people groups and the realization that I don't have those same interactions as I did there here and I say all that to say we have the ability to grow we have the ability to step out on faith and to do whatever is within us to accomplish to see to do to be or to dream And I challenge you to my South African brothers and sisters, step out on those things. Take a step of faith, right? Like I have, my family has, the Jones family has, and countless other families have stepped out on faith. And I challenge you all to do the same, right? If if you need assistance, if you need help, if you need comfort, if you need wisdom and ways on which you can do so, let me know, right? Email us, comment down below, whatever you need to do, I'm here for you all in that respect. But then for those that are watching around the world, know that when you come here, you will feel a refuge. You will feel safe. You will feel protected. You will feel a comfort, right? You will feel the ability to relax, be yourself, and enjoy the comforts thereof. And I say all that to say, I understand now when I wrote and penned those words years ago about feeling as though this was a place of refuge. I now am reminded of what it means. And I'm excited, right? I'm excited that the kids get the ability to grow up in this space, right? Grow up in a space of protection, a space of shelter, a space of protection, right? Because they don't have to live with those thoughts right now. They can just be themselves. They can uh, interact with other people. They can interact with other kids and grow and being a kid. They don't have to worry about the color of their skins or the restrictions that has on them as it may or will as we travel around the world. But all that to say, great people, my brothers and my sisters, I love you all. I love this country. I love all that this country has to offer. And I'm excited for other people as they get uh, wrapped up in, as they come into the contact of or the interactions with this here particular country and the joys that it will bring to them and for them and to my South African brothers and sisters. While I'm here, allow for me to be an aid of existence to you. I have great things to say about this here particular country because of my experience. Great things. Now, with great things, obviously, there's two sides to everything. Uh, And so as we share on our vlogs, our videos and our content, we'll share the highs and the lows because it all shapes the experiences thereof. However, with it all said and done, know that greatness is here. Know that protection is here. Know that a refuge is here and know that other things are here as well that I continue to share each and every week because I am one to get to experience the greatness here. But then I also want to share and be a reminder of the greatness that is here. And in this particular video, we shared of how South Africa is a refuge for many people, those around this continent, as well as those all around this world. And as people come to come in contact with it, they'll speak of the feeling of a refuge that they felt while here and the feeling if they leave that they want to get back to. Uh, Because it's something that you can always quantify with words, but you can always feel it. You can always feel it. And I feel it. I feel it here. I know it's here. And others will too. So I love you all. I appreciate you all tapping and tuning into the channel if you haven't already done so. As well as other content that we put out on our various channels that will encourage you to live a life of faith. Because that's the best life you could live. That's the best life you can enjoy. And uh, we want it for everybody that has life to live a life of faith. So in it all with it all, great people. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I'm happy to be back. We're back from holiday and I'm excited to share the contents of our holiday with you all next week. So until then, hey, and as well, if you all want to collaborate with us, with me, let us know. We are open to collaborations. We are open to hosting. We're open to speaking engagements. Let us know if you have something for us to be at or to collaborate with you on. Comment, email us, and we will get back to you and uh until next time great people i love you all i appreciate you all peace